Hello, my name's Sarah Martin-Law and I work for BOC. You may not have heard of BOC, but the gases we produce go into hundreds of products we come across every day. My name is Keith Nicholson and I also work for BOC in the Technical Sales Department. I am based here at TAME in the Food Technology Centre. BOC supplies hundreds of gases, mixtures and pure to our customers, but in the main we supply air gases, oxygen and nitrogen, which are extracted from the atmosphere. Whether it's frozen food, fizzy drinks, hospital oxygen supplies, hydrogen power cars, MRI scanners or party balloons, all of them use gases produced by BOC. Nitrogen makes up the majority of the atmosphere at 78%. It is a colourless and odourless gas. As a liquid though, it has some very useful properties. Oxygen makes up approximately 21% of the atmosphere and is also a colourless and odourless gas but appears pale blue as a liquid due to the light absorption. Oxygen is essential to keep us alive. It also supports combustion, that is, it makes things burn better. And that's very useful in processes such as steel making where high temperatures are required. In order to use the nitrogen from air for food packaging, it must first be filtered to remove any contaminants, such as dust, which would damage the plant. Water vapour is then removed to prevent ice crystals forming when the air is cooled down, as is carbon dioxide, because it solidifies at minus 57 degrees centigrade. Extracting the gases from the atmosphere is done in an air separation unit. This is effectively a huge distillation column and freezer which cools the air down to minus 190 degrees centigrade. By this point, all the trace gases have been isolated. Oxygen separates out as a liquid and very cold nitrogen gas remains. When cooled still further to minus 196 degrees centigrade, nitrogen becomes a cryogenic liquid. Due to its non-reactive properties, nitrogen can be used to package foods. The modified atmosphere packaged gas mixtures usually consist of nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. The best gas mixture and exact proportions depend upon the particular foodstuff and its properties. Cryogenic means produces cold and as a liquid nitrogen is used to freeze food. At minus 196 degrees centigrade liquid nitrogen is so cold it freezes food quickly preventing the formation of large ice crystals at this temperature, microorganisms do not attack the food so quickly and therefore it remains unspoilt for longer. Gaseous nitrogen from air separation units can be distributed in small quantities in pressurised steel cylinders. For economic and environmental reasons, much larger amounts of gases are distributed in refrigerated bulk tankers as liquids. These tankers travel around the country to food production factories, making the kinds of frozen foods we buy in the supermarket and keep in the freezer at home. Using gases like nitrogen for food preservation is just one of the countless ways we can use these chemicals. But it's more than just an academic theory. The skill and excitement lie in creating simpler, safer and more effective processes. This requires engineering skills, scientific understanding, and spotting a gap in the market. After completing my chemistry degree, I joined BOC on their graduate scheme and completed a number of roles within sales and marketing across the wide variety of businesses. Today, I'm still in the marketing department and use my chemistry on a daily basis to understand the technical details of their products and services.